There's no one more qualified, more capable, or more well positioned to captain this ship of any idea, of any business, of any creation that can be invented, that can be imagined by the mind. In other words, why not you? Why not you? See, the world is a free and open canvas for the reception, claiming, and cultivation of ideas into reality. There is no one who is more capable than you to pioneer that idea, that business, that creation that you've been ruminating on for the last few months or maybe even years. The question is not a matter of creativity, but rather one of confidence. See, what separates those who go down in history, who the world remembers for decades, and those whose names will soon be forgotten, is one thing, and that is the willingness to take bold, decisive action, to execute on big ideas when they arrive. Ideas are a dime a dozen. Action, execution is the stuff of masters. Masters refine their ability to spot trends, to uncover fresh angles and perspectives through which to attack those trends. And then most importantly, match what the market needs with the idea that they have in a very pointed and poignant way. That is where scale, success, and global impact can be had. So I ask you again, why not you? And perhaps a better way to phrase this concept is that if you don't, someone else will. See, ideas are like confetti, little packets of inspiration and information being dispersed by infinite intelligence. And I mean this literally, not figuratively. Ideas are not the product of thought or of the mind. Ideas are little frequency packets containing data, having been dispensed, having been ejected from infinite intelligence. See, the world rewards those who are able to capture, claim, and create real abundance, material value from the ideas which it has presented ripe for the taking. The way that you attach to these packets of data is by aligning your frequency to receive them. And as you go about that process, and as you prove that you're an action taker and not just a thinker, the universe starts to reward you with bigger and better ideas because it knows that you're an action taker. And so the difference between those whose names will be etched in history versus those whose names will be forgotten is simply a matter of one thing, the willingness to take bold and decisive action upon receiving that great idea. And so I ask again, why not you? Someone has to captain that ship. Someone has to pioneer this big idea, planting those seeds in the world and watering them day by day. This is an iterative process. Rome was not built overnight. I think that a lot of people succumb to fear that they can't, that they're not the right person to spearhead this thing, that someone else is better situated, that someone else is more worthy, is more well prepared, is more well liked. When in reality, there is no one more destined, there is no one better than you, if you choose to commit. And when you realize that all of the things around you, all the tools, the technologies, all the buildings, the places, the infrastructure, everything within the world around us was built by people no smarter than you. You can feel a sense 
of empowerment, of motivation within that. To know that it isn't intellect, it isn't IQ, it isn't credentialism or qualifications that determines who rises to the top of that heap. It's simply a matter of those who are strong enough to convert ideas into action and deciding now to be that person forever. So I ask again, why not you?